Mr. President, for over 50 years, the so-called war on drugs has brought about a global, pervasive and systematic human rights catastrophe that requires the continued attention of the Council. Its most salient manifestations include the death penalty for drug offences, extrajudicial killings, arbitrary detention in certain drug rehabilitation centres, mass incarceration, criminalisation and the militarised eradication of crops. Worldwide, only one in eight people with drug dependence have access to evidence-based health interventions. Life-saving harm reduction services remain chronically underfunded and unavailable, fueling the HIV epidemic and a cat catastrophic rise in overdose deaths. The Council has a critical role in ending this devastation. We therefore strongly welcome the initiative to table a new resolution on the human rights impacts of drug policy at this session of the Council. This resolution, which should include a standing mandate for OHCHR to periodically report back to the Council on the human rights impacts of drug policy, will guarantee that the UN human rights system has a strong voice in the review of the global drug control regime that will take place at the UN level throughout 2023 and 2024 and beyond. This resolution is also closely aligned with new initiatives emerging across the human rights system, such as the 2021 study on drug policy by the Working Group on Arbitrary Detention and the recent announcement that the Committee on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights will initiate a general comment on drug policy. Civil society looks to the Council for leadership in encouraging and welcoming these initiatives and ensuring that they are presented to the UN Commission on Narcotic Drugs. The UN can no longer turn the blind, blind eye on the human rights impacts of drug policy. Thank you.